finally here. Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. For the past six months or so, I've been working on a full stack Next.js course, and it's finally available right now on developedbyad.com. So check it out in the description. Uh, I really wanted to make something special, something really cool that I'm proud of, and hopefully you'll enjoy as well. So I'm not going to blabber about it. I'll just like, let's do a deep dive of it, show you the features, show you what's included in here. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. If you bought like the 23 edition of this course, I just wanted to make this a free update. So if you already had it, it's available for you right now. So let's get into it. I'm really excited to show you what we have. Okay, so let's do a deep dive into this project. So it's an e-commerce website where you can sell products. In our case, this is called Sprout and Scribble. So we're selling notebooks, pens, and things of that sort. Okay, so what do we have? Well, we have the ability to create products. So as you can see, we have a bunch of products here. If we click on one, these are statically rendered as well, which is pretty cool. As you can see, we have reviews as well. We have a nice gallery for each of these products. And check this out, we have different color variants as well. So if I head over here to the blue one, if I switch over to the green, as you can see, it also switches over that gallery. Now here, as you can see, we also have a review, which I added here. We have a cool graph here where we display each product. I think people added more reviews here on, on the original, uh, on the live website, as you can see. So that graph is gonna update like that. This is all the reviews from different people that left it in here. And to do all of this, we're using NeonDB and Drizzle. Let me show you something else that's really cool. If we head to this input tag up here, it's using Algolia search to essentially query up all the products related to the title, or I can do it to the rich text that we have in here. So if I go here and search Dream Chaser, for example, as you can see, highlights all the products that we have here uploaded. So I can go here and click and we are in. I'll also show you how you can hook up filters using tags. So I added a couple here, so I can just instantly uh, like add a tag and queue up all the products related to that. Now you might be wondering where are these products coming from? Well, we are creating a full on admin dashboard. So if we head here to the user, as you can see, we have my orders, settings. We also have light mode that we can toggle on here. Let's just head over to the settings and I'll show you how we can upload one of these products and it's automatically gonna sync with Stripe and with Algolia and everything else. Now there's a couple here. I'll walk you through everything here. Let's just go to create for now and I'll just create a new product for you. So let's just go here and upload a product. I'll call this Eco Pen. And as you can see here, we have a full on rich text editor using TipTap integrated as well. So we can do something like, I'll just do something random, but as you can see, we can add bullet points here, make a list. I'll just add something random like that and we can set a price as well. I'll do 24. So I'll hit create a product. As you can see, it created that product down there at the bottom. And there we go, we have a new product added here. So now here, as you can see, I have all the variants. So for the time to groove, I have two different products and I can go here and edit them quickly. And as you can see, they have those tags there and all the related images to it. And I can upload these or delete them. I can even reorder these images like that if I want and update the variant. Now let's just head here and add a new product here, a new variant for this eco pen. I'll call this blue pen. Let's pick a color, let's see bluish color. There we go, I'll add some tags to it, blue. And I'll show you how you can make a custom uh, tag system like this where you can just type stuff in, we can even delete them. I'll just leave blue here and pen. Okay, we can upload images as well. So let's just go here to the stationaries and I'll pull in these two images like that. So you can see it's uploading. And once it's uploaded, we can create this variant. So let's hit create. And as you can see, it added the blue pen there. So now if I wanna update this variant, I can simply come here and edit it. So blue version, so I can say, if I wanna change this to something like pink, let's just say pink version instead, and I'll hit update variant. If I wanna edit the product, I can simply go here to the side and hit edit product. And that's going to be bring me back right here to the edit product page. If I head back here to the front end and let's do a refresh of this, look at that. We have the new product added here. So if I click on here, as you can see, it pulled in all that information for us and it synced it with the gallery as well. The best part is it also syncs it with Algolia. So if I do eco pen, boom, it just pops up right there. Now check this out. If I click the blue here, as you can see, the blue also gets synced up. Okay, now let's actually check out some products, shall we? So let's go here. I'll maybe select two of these. I'll add them to the cart. Let's do maybe two green versions of this as well and open this up. 
So there we go. As you can see, we have a super cool card system set up here with a drawer. And here we have some slick animations as well. Have a look at the total here. So you can see when I update that, it moves up like that. If I remove all the products here, you also have this nice little animation. There we go, cart is empty. But let's just try to check out at least one product. So there we go, we have 10. I'll show you how we can hook up Stripe Elements Custom here, like that. And let me show you how it looks on dark mode as well, because that's pretty cool. And let me just check this out quickly. I'll do 424242. I'll say add, and let's pick a random address here as well. Let's go with that one and hit pay now. And as you can see, we have this cool progress bar here animating as well. Boof. So order has been added. And as you can see, we are on the confirmation page. So the user can go here and click view the order. And there we go. We have this nice table set up. So as you can see, we have this cool table set up. Here are all the products that we purchased. We can even view the details of all the products that we purchased and even download the receipt right there in the dashboard. Another cool thing is that we can go here to the analytics and see what each user has bought. And I'll show you how you can hook up this cool little chart animation here so we can view all the orders for this week, even for this month if we want to. So this is all for this week, for two weeks ago. We had a rough three weeks ago and then the last week here as well. And we can also visualize the sales here from each user that they bought and we can make this cool little table here. So check this out. If I head over to Drizzle Kit really quickly and go over to the user tab, and I'll just switch this over to user quickly and hit save. Check this out. I do a refresh now. Look at that. The user is not able to access that information anymore. So we'll set it up in a way where the admin has different panels available compared to the user. Now, let me also show you a demo of how off works. So for now, I'll just go and delete the user quickly here. And now if we log in now, as you can see, we have signed in with Google, we have signed in with GitHub, but we also have email and password. I really wanted to make like a full chapter, a good like six, seven hours of going in depth on how to set up off with hashing, passwords, sending emails, using recent and all of that. So let me give you a quick demo. I'll hit create a new account. We'll say develop by add. I'll also add my email address here and I'll pick a password as well. So let's hit register. And as soon as we hit register, we get a confirmation email sent to us. And now that our email is verified, we can simply log in. So I'll do add magician at gmail.com and use my password as well. And there we go, we are in. And as you can see by default, we don't have an image set up. So it automatically defaults to our first character in our name. So let's just head to settings. If we want to update the image, we can as well. So I'll click change avatar and let me pick a cool picture here. Look, there's the, there we go. And there we go, it's updating and cool, there we go. Let's hit update your settings. And as soon as they hit update, you're gonna see it change up there as well. Let me also show you two factor off. So if I enable this and hit update settings, there we go. Let's just log out for a second here and log back in. And now when we hit login, you're gonna get this nice cool OTP input here from ChatCM where you can type in. And I'll also show you how you can set up resend with your domain. So you are actually getting it from devad at ultimatenext.store instead of a random email address. So let's copy that code over and paste it in here. And we are now signed in. And there we go. That's a general overview of what's in this course. Again, it's 25 hours of content or so using the latest of Next.js. I'm gonna have a nice rest now because <laughs> I've been at it forever. So thank you so much for all the support. Please drop a like, a sub, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.